You're not supposed to do that. And that is what Jesus was condemning. He was not condemning the, the, the whole Sabbath, Saturday Sabbath. He was condemning the add-ons, which makes it a burden for all those who are trying to keep the Sabbath, trying to be close to God, as a burden for, you know, it becomes more of works. Do you follow me? So doing good in the Sabbath, like taking the, or helping the donkey out, the donkey out, or helping it, is buying medicine unlawful or lawful in the Sabbath? Oh, those are... Is it doing good? Doing good, part of doing good. You need it, really. You see? These are some of the, some of the basic uh, misconception and perception, misperceptions of, of some of our fellow Christians who, who would say you, you should not buy, buy something on the Sabbath. You have to wait on the sunset. That's a good principle, but what about if you really need it? Did you wait? <laughs> you have to help somebody. <laughs> I heard about this guy. You know, her. Uh, he was a faithful Christian. A seventh Adventist Christian. And his daughter, you know, had a, had a car breakdown on a freeway. And, he, and that daughter called her dad. He said, Dad, can you come and pick me up? My, daughter uh, my, my car broke down on the freeway. The father on the phone said, you know what, do you know what day is this today? Sabbath? Can you wait on the sunset? <laughs> Can you wait on the sunset? I, said, I was shocked. I said, That's not what the spirit of the law means. The spirit of the law is you know, people first. If they're in need. Unless you're going to a party, that that's another case. <laughs> that's another case, you know. That's not the same as helping. Just imagine your daughter sits there for nine hours in the freeway for you to observe your Sabbath. Well, you have a good, a good reason, but your daughter is in need of help. And that's exactly the same with the donkey on the ditch, right? What would you do if, if, if somebody calls you and you're in the church and needs your help? And, and okay, I'm still in church. I need somebody to bring me to the clinic or the hospital. Or what would you do? Take them, help them. All right. The principle is doing good. Are you? You know what? Please wait. Hiking. Hiking on site. <laughs> well, that's another yeah. great area where, where the principal doing good is it? Because there's fellowship. There's because fellowship. we do we do it once in a while. I believe, like you know, when we are. I outdoors. could go for a nature walk. Yeah. It's not if it's it's meant for us to study nature and for fellowship. I would go for a walk. Go for long walks. Because there's no difference between hiking and distributing tracks on the Sabbath. The only difference is the is the literature, right? This is this this topic about what to keep, uh, what to do on the Sabbath, and what not to do, falls on the basic principle of doing good and people first. Not secular, but people first. When they are in need, when they are hungry, when they are thirsty, when they are naked, when they are. And in prison, they are, they are, they need us. That does not uh, mean that we are desecrating the Sabbath. It just means that we are following what Jesus commanded us to do. People first, help them, do good on the Saturday Sabbath. Acts of mercy, we call it. And those are lawful. It's not illegal, it's lawful. Because the spirit of the law of the Sabbath tells us that is your love for God and your love for God is also equivalent to your love for men. Right? Do you have any comments or questions about that? What about watching? Uh, watching TV on the Sabbath. Well, you could also, I'm watching Hope Channel, it's fine. But before this, you know, watching secular TV was a no-no for us. Which is, of course, I would say it's always a no-no. Because you always had that on the other days. 
on the seventh day sanctified, blessed, God rested, and God ended His work. So, you know. So, the basic principle again, as I've said, is doing good and people first. Okay? All right. How about for the kids? Ha, what? The kids, for the example, kids. swimming. Swimming for the kids. <laughs> Sabbath afternoon. That's another question. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, this, is, this is another cultural and uh, um, it's pleasure. preference. It's pleasure, yeah. It's pleasure before. Well, if you swim during this divine service, then <laughs> that's another question. But if you swim like you wanted to be refreshed, and you know, because there are Koreans. I know, and there is some Hispanic Koreans. too. I was just visiting. They, they would go and swim. And That's yeah. Really? Koreans, they, they would play soccer on Saturday afternoon. Oh, really? Yeah. That's part of their... That's how they were trained. That's how they were conditioned culturally. Like exercising or something. Filipinos like to sleep. It's, it's just that. True. I mean, like two hours. Like, right. It's right. a long sleep. It's not 30 minute nap. <laughs> That's why they call it siesta hour. Because it's like hours. It's from the Spanish <laughs> culture as well. I love that. I love siesta. You like sleeping? No, I love power nap. It helps your brain. Mm -hmm. it, it it powers up your brain. There are so many research that powers up your brain when you when you have a nap. That's why. It, a nap is fifteen. To 30, yeah. Right. But sleeping is a different story. Like <laughs> 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 like, because it makes the Sabbath go faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not recommending you what to do, what not to do. What, we, what we're studying is the basic principle. And the, this is the thing. 